So I was running the other night and I found this propane tank sitting on the side of the road. And, well, usually to be honest, I'd just go ahead and uh, use it. But I'm not going to do that with this tank. It's in pretty bad shape. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and take the valve off of it and turn it into a, uh, you know, little camp stove or something. That's a video for another time. This video is all about taking the valve off of it. The absolutely easiest way you're likely to find. Now if I managed to blow myself up that would probably give me a million views but we're not going to worry about that right now. Let's go ahead and start by undoing the valve here on the side. Basically that's just a uh, flathead screwdriver. Flathead screw. Go ahead and undo that. And open the valve up as far as you can. Some of these tanks also have safety valves inside the valve itself. I use one of these little uh, adapter things here. It's a straight through adapter for filling small propane tanks. And just going to go ahead and screw that on in the end of there. Open it completely up. And now I've done two different things to make sure that this tank is completely empty. To get the leverage to remove that valve, we're going to go ahead and use a couple ratchet straps and strap it to a solid object. I've chosen a tree. And here's our magic tool for breaking that valve loose. This, I believe they just call this a pipe. You take this pipe, this end here, slip it over the valve, pull. Just like that. There you go. Those threads are broke free now. You should be able to use any type of wrench at this point to go ahead and remove that valve the rest of the way. As long as you can get a purchase on that valve and turn it, you should be fine. Any type of wrench will work. Mine was actually loose enough to go ahead and undo by hand the rest of the way. So, proof of concept. There you go. The valve is out all the little guts there you go valves out of the tank just like that to purge any remaining gas inside the tank we're going to go ahead and fill this up with water i could explain this part of the process to you but i trust that my audience is smart enough to figure it out that's it. As you can see, I've topped that off completely, so that tank is completely purged of gas at this point. No more worries. I'll let it sit, then I'm going to go ahead and drain it, and then I can start, you know, cutting on it, prepping it up to turn it into a little camp stove. Ought to be a fun little project, but again, that's a project for another time. Other than that, that's it. Thanks for sticking around today. You know I'd appreciate that thumbs up like. That is, if you enjoyed this video. Hey, Check us out on Instagram, see what we're up to throughout the week between videos. There's probably some type of little bell icon there you can also hit to check for updates. And maybe, just maybe, I'll see you on the next video. If you enjoy videos about the randomness of our amazing world, consider clicking on the globe to subscribe, or checking out one of our other videos right here.